What's going on, people? How are we doing? Simon with you again here from Pinnacle Fitness Consulting. And in this little video, I'm going to show you how to set up sharing on Google Calendar, the calendar for, in my eyes, which is the best calendar in the world, which we use for um, recommending to clients who are working with us in our consulting business. And I'm going to show you how you can set up multiple tabs and share those those calendar tabs or layers or separate calendars, whatever you want to call them. And um, you can see on the left hand side, I'll get into this in a second, um, so that you can manage people within your business and manage people's calendars. For us in the PT industry, this will be used for you to make bookings in their schedules here and that you can organize clients for them consult if you're luckily lucky enough to have um, PTs that are growing your business for you and whatever else you want to do. So first and foremost, this is Google Calendar. It's a free platform. It's a website. It's very, very simple, easy to use. I'm going to cut straight to the chase here, guys. Nothing, um, nothing too hectic about this. Now, what you will need to do is this. You will need to sit down or on the phone with your uh, clients or with your uh, trainer, ideally it's gonna be your trainer or whoever in your life, if you're not even in the fitness industry, whoever you want to help syncing a calendar with, you'll need to sit down with them or get them on a phone call and get them to make a Gmail account. Gmail is obviously associated with Google and it's probably the most popular email um, hosting platform in, in the entire universe today. So Gmails, okay, so create a Gmail account when you have done that, simply go to Google, and I'll, t I'll tell you how I got to this tab here. Go to Google, type in calendar, and at the top, you get, should see it here, Google slash calendar, okay, gsuite.com slash calendar, okay, so just click on any of these. And it should be able to take you to your, your Google calendar. Okay. G Suite, this is a business one. You don't need that, guys. So literally just personal. Or you can log in. Okay. Log in to your, um, into your Gmail and it will have at the top here, it will have various apps and it can take you to your mail. It can take you to maps, to YouTube. And for what we want is calendar. Okay, so when you click on calendar, it's going to take you right in here. Now, as you can see, as an example here, you can actually manage calendars. You can set your whole uh, schedule out, and this is going to help you massively with your time management. But for today, I don't need to get into that. I'm just going to show you how to set up your calendar with your trainers, okay, if you're in the fitness industry. So on the right-hand side, inside the new account you set up for your trainer, not in your account. So if we're logged into... Um, if we're logged into Steve's account and Steve works for me as one of my trainers, Steve on the right hand side is going to see his one calendar here. Okay. And you might see some other calendars such as birthdays or events or something like that, but he will have one calendar. Okay. This calendar of his, there's going to be three dots here. It's very simple, quick and easy to do. And this is how we do it. Click the three dots. You go to settings and sharing. In here, what you want Steve to do is to share this with specific people. You're going to add people, and then you're going to get Steve to enter your email address. Okay, so your email goes here. All right, it is that it is that simple, and it's as simple. Your email goes here, and it's very very simple and essential that you give this person permission to make changes and manage your sharing. That basically means that you can make changes to Steve's calendar and that you can add events and stuff in. When you've obviously put a right email address in here, you'll be able to hit send. Now, what that will then do is enable Steve's calendar to pop up in your own Gmail account. So wherever you are in the world, you can then log into yours and it should pop up as one of these. So as an example here, I've got some trainers in the business. And if I highlight all of these trainers here, you're going to see their calendars. They'll overlap. Okay. And it's as simple as that. Google Calendar, you can actually, on the top of everything, you can, you can highlight loads of different appointments, loads of different things. And you can see that if you chuck everything on top, your calendar with multiple staff members, you'll be able to see all of the sessions, what different people are going to be doing at different times. You can toggle specific calendars on and off. And again, if you want to, we can go in here. So if I just go to this, for example, 
or go team pinnacle you can add in here this and you select the calendar for the different appointments you want to make or for us specifically client sessions so you could have callum pt session you can select here the duration okay so i'll do a 30 minute session you can then go to the calendar i want that to go in for example matthew's calendar i want to go more options and you can then repeat it so repeat weekly and make sure you repeat these sessions this will then go into matthew's calendar and you'll be able to check out matthew's sessions it's as simple as that so hopefully that's helped you guys I look forward to sending you some more videos on some simple tasks that will be made really, really easy for you if I just show you just like this. Until next time, though, guys, enjoy, have fun, and I'll catch you around the corner.